today I am doing the first in a new series, a new styling series. So I kind of basically said it to you last time that I was going to do a styling video every Thursday. I thought let's make it official, make it an actual series so we can have like episodes and stuff, all of the fun stuff. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to style something in three different ways, whether it's uh, occasions, so like wedding outfits or um, workwear or whether it's a uh, uh, season, so spring outfits, whether it's trends, whether it's like a uh, certain trend item, like this today I have got ugly trainers, um, or if it's like a certain piece, so like um, I did before the Gucci t-shirt or like a Chloe handbag, something expensive that you're gonna wanna get like cost per wear. So if there's any requests, then make sure you let me know if it's an item that you don't know how to style or a trend you don't know how to style or if you've got something coming up that you don't know what to wear for. Um, so yeah, or if there's something you want to buy but you're not sure, like if I have to for my job, I'm more than happy to take the hit and buy that expensive item and show you how to style it, if I have to. Um, so yeah, let me know and I will look forward to doing that and I hope that you guys like this new series. If you want to see more then make sure you subscribe. Something else that I've just put in that I'm doing weekly is a weekly vlog so if you want to get to know yours truly better then make sure you watch my weekly vlogs. They aren't the best at the moment but I am learning so I feel like with the weekly vlogging it's obviously something that you've got to like remember to pick your camera up, remember what to film. I'm already thinking bugger, I meant to film myself filming, so I'm going to pause this in a minute and set my camera up so I can film myself filming this. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe and I will get onto the video now. So without further ado, I'm going to talk to you about ugly trainers. So ugly trainers are so popular, obviously the first ones that are like really kicked off the trend were the Balenciaga trainers. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> Pictures will pop up. I really want to learn how to do that noise. It's like or ping um, but anyway I need to learn or get someone else to edit my videos for me but that's beside the point ugly trainers are really popular those ones kind of like kicked it off then Gucci has some really similar ones bing then um, who else have got some oh do you know what I saw some amazing dupes on Ash for the Balenciaga ones bing but what I'm going to do is a coinciding blog post so with all of these styling videos I'm going to do coinciding blog posts with some Oh, like pictures of me wearing them, maybe some other pictures of other people wearing them, so like outfit inspo, and then also I will link all the best ugly trainers on the high street and all the best ugly trainers on the low street, no, on the designer street, or like design sites. Um, so you can kind of see like what's in your price range, what's out there, compare. Um, and I do feel like it's a trend that's here to stay for a while at least because um, I definitely were popular all through winter um, and now we're coming into summer and spring and I've seen loads of cute ways to wear them so I am going to focus this on like wearing them for spring um, and like what I would wear now going into summer so that I can give you some inspiration for like the season ahead. Um, so I wanted to, before I show you the outfits, I'm going to show you, or maybe I'll show you the outfits over me talking. I'm not sure how this is going to work out yet. Probably over me talking, so they'll be showing in a minute. Um, but I have a couple of different styles to show you. So the first style I will show you is the first pair of ugly trains that I got. Um, and these are probably like the best alternative on a more affordable scale to like the Balenciagas and the Gucci's etc. And that is the Nike trainers. These are the Nike Airs. I'm not exactly, I know there's a few different, is the Nike Air Max? I know there's a few different styles. I'm not sure which ones these are, but I will link them below. They look amazing in white. In hindsight, I'm kind of like, should I have got them in white? But these really remind me of the black Balenciaga, as I'll put a picture in. Um, I feel like they're really similar, especially for the price point. These were like 120, I think, or 140. Um, and obviously, the, the Balenciaga ones are like 800 pounds. Um, so yeah, great, I was gonna say bang for your buck then. Great um, alternative if you don't wanna spend too much money. Um, and these do look really cool and also, when I first got them, I was like, holy Jesus, how have I not been wearing these this entire time? They are so comfortable, honestly. They are like little elves massaging your feet when you walk. They are so comfortable, and I haven't actually like worn these to their full potential yet, but I feel like um, I got them like not long before I went away, and um, so they just kind of got like shoved to the back of my wardrobe. But I definitely feel like now I've got them out, I will be wearing them more um, and I'm going to do a big clear out of my wardrobe so I feel like once I get rid of all the shoes that I don't actually wear I can bring these to the front and then like they can have their moment um, but I think these would look really cool 
just with like, um, I'd wear them with summer dresses, I'd wear them with like denim shorts, I'd wear them with just like jeans and a shirt, I just think there's so many different ways with all of these trainers to wear them, but I really love these, these are probably my favourites. And then I got another pair from River Island. So they actually do these in black too. These are way more affordable. These are around the 30 to 40 pound mark. Um, I think they're like 25 to 35 pounds. Correct me if I'm wrong. They also do them in black and they also do them in color block. And then there are other sites that are now doing them. So you've got Topshop who always seem to have their own like variations of the ugly trainers. Um, I'm not sure if H&M do, but I will have a look. Obviously it will all be linked. Miss Sky did do, Miss Pap do, and then you have um, sites like Ego and Public Desire that have completely ripped off their Balenciaga trainers. I'll put a picture in like, literally, I'm talking China rip off, like absolute fakes. But if you really like the Balenciaga ones and you can't afford them, then I mean, they're a really great alternative. Um, but these are more like inspired by than like a complete fake. Um, and so these are really cool. They've got this really big like bit at the back, which is typical of the Balenciaga ones. These actually really remind me of the acne ones, which I adore. I'll put a picture in here because they've got the, the laces, they're all white, and then they've got the black detail. These are very comfortable again. I mean, all these trainers are so comfortable. I think these would look really cool. I've seen people wear the Balenciaga ones with like white ankle socks. They kind of come up, look, give like the effect of a little boot and then like with summer dresses, like denim shorts, as I said again. Um, and then also just jeans. You can wear them with everything really, but I really think that these ch over chunky, like super ugly trainers look really cool with summer dresses because I feel like it's a real like juxtaposition. Then another pair that I wanted to show you, I'm only going to style three outfits and I'm going to use those other ones to show you, but I also wanted to show you these trainers just because I already have them. They are not necessarily the ugly trainers, but they're still like the chunky trainers. So I wanted to show you if you want that kind of effect, but you're not all in for the whole, like this is like all in. Um, they, the Superga are a great alternative because they've got the flat form, they're super comfy, they're super versatile, they're not trend led so they're not going to go out of style but they are still kind of like a nod to the trend um, and Superga actually also have another style which I do have but I'm not sure where they are um, and they've got like a big platform at the back, um, very Alexander McQueen, I'll put a picture in and link them below, they are super cool and another great alternative um, again like around the, under £100 mark so uh, between the Nikes and then like the high street. One more pair that I wanted to show you and that is these trainers and they are from the brand Farina. Um, I got these from the Foot Asylum so I didn't actually pay for these so I'm not 100% sure on the price of them but I will leave all information below. Um, so yeah, I was very lucky to be gifted these so I'm not 100% sure on the price but they've, again they've got this really chunky sole. These ones are super Balenciaga vibes. Um, with all like the different like waves and like the different colours and stuff and they had them in a few different colour waves and they're elasticated, slip on, super duper comfortable um, and really cool, they're kind of like all different berry colours and yeah, I thought these were really cool actually. Maybe I will style these ones up, um, yeah maybe for like the three I'll do these three different trainers but obviously all of the different styles will work for all of the different outfits so it doesn't really matter which outfit you seat the trainers with because I just think all of these outfits will work with any one of these. So thanks so much for watching my video and my first in the new series of styling. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it Yeah, I think I'm going to call it ways to wear or how to style or ways to style or how to wear, <laughs> a variation of that kind, I'm not really sure. Um, and yeah, so thanks for stopping by for episode one. Let me know what you think of ugly trainers. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you have a pair? Are you thinking of buying a pair? Have you bought a pair and you don't wear them and you regret buying them? Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts. And also, again, if there's anything you want to see me style up, then let me know. And I also am about to film a Zara haul. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that because that is coming up on Sunday. And I'll see you next time.